Now, it's been seven months since more than 200 schoolgirls were kidnapped in Chibok in northeast Nigeria. Some of those girls have since escaped, but most are still held by Islamic militants, Islamic militants Boko Haram. There was initial fury over the kidnapping, and the hashtag Bring Back Our Girls has been tweeted more than five million times. But media reports around the world have been lessening in frequency. Well, one woman who is determined to make sure the girls don't fade from our memories is singer-songwriter Judith Denton. Judith, who joins me now in the studio, has organized a charity event at the end of the month to raise funds and keep up the momentum to bring back the Chibok girls. Judith, thank you very much indeed for coming in. And I believe you've also written a song which will be released during the event. Tell us about this. Yeah, the song is entitled Strong and Beautiful. And that was written, um, inspired and written because of what happened to the Chibok girls in Nigeria. Um, and so it will be released on the 30th of November, available, put, available for download. And it will also be performed live at the charity event to happen at the end of the month as well. Right. Well, we're lucky enough to get a taster of that now, ahead of its official release on November the 30th. Yes. Yeah. You are strong and beautiful. And we sing this song for you. Nice kind of relaxing, easy music. Um, you've got a charity event as well. Where's that going to take place? That's taking place at the Hideaway in Streatham in South London, um, in one of London's premier, premier venues. So you've got the charity event and you've got a song coming out. That's what made right. you do that? Well, it was a positive call to action, I would say. Something that gripped my heart to say there must be something that I can do. And as a singer-songwriter, I wrote the song not with um, putting a charity event on in mind, but as I went with the flow, the charity event and the single sort of married together. And the song is called Strong and Beautiful, Definitely. isn't it? Definitely. Um, uh, you're, you're not of Nigerian extraction, are you? No, my parents... So, so what touched you about this? My parents are Jamaican, you're right. right. I'm not Nigerian. But what touched my heart is the fact that young girls um, in another country had been kidnapped. And um, being a young woman myself, I felt that I could do something to help the cause. And the song is entitled Strong and Beautiful because I realised that in doing my research, um, young girls in other countries weren't allowed to, were being denied their basic human rights of having an education. So I wanted to say to them, whatever was happening in your life, I as an individual and other people see you as strong and beautiful. So wherever you are, whatever's happening to you, hold on to your dreams because you are strong and beautiful. Do you think there's been too much focus on just the Chibok girls? Because, I mean, there have been so many other women and girls who've been kidnapped by the same group, Boko Haram, and just literally yesterday, um, in, a, in a town just 250 kilometers from Chibok, um, the, you know, Boko Haram went in, a suicide bomber blew himself up in the, in the ranks of, of an assembly um, and killed 47 students. I mean, do, do you think that the Chibok girls are just getting too much attention? No, I wouldn't say the Chibok girls are getting too much attention, but what I would say, it, the, what's happened to them has, has highlighted what else is happening in the, in the entire world. And it's getting us as individuals to sort of look and see what is happening and for some to take action. But it sounds as if the Chibok girls are released tomorrow. People will say, well, brilliant, we did it, let's move on. Well, some people might say that, but I wouldn't because I believe that the cause for girls' education is an ongoing thing that we should always be fighting for um, so that we can do something to help somebody else. Now, the song you released, or you're about to release, uh, Strong and Beautiful, did that have some collaboration on it? Yes, I wrote this song and I asked uh, my friends to come on board to actually um, sing on the single. So we have Isaiah Raymond Dyer and Christopher Gordon from the um, former, former gospel um, group called Raymond and Co. We have Nadine Lee and Yolanda Greaves from um, Ecclesia and also my friend Israel J. Allen and Paul Watson and myself on there. So it was a collaboration of artists, excellent artists. And of course you, you must feel that the spotlight, certainly the international spotlight, seems to be falling away from the girls, which is why you're doing this. Yes, I do believe that the spotlight is falling away. One minute the media is focusing heavily on the Chibik the, the Chibuk girls, and then suddenly the, the spotlight kind of fades away and the media's attention is turned to the next big thing, as we know how that's how the media is. So what I've helped, what I want to do is be a part of the cause to sort of say, hey, don't forget what's happening in the world. Let's all remind 
ourselves that we need to do something and to help. Now, one of the things you're doing is obviously the charity event that we mentioned earlier. But, I mean, you're, you're hoping to raise money. What are you actually going to do with that money? The money will be donated to the Malala Fund. I've done some research about what happened to her when she was young. And I found out that she was a young girl that was um, going to be denied her education and um, was shot because of that. So the money will be donated to her fund because she has close links with what's happening in Nigeria and in other countries in the world as so well. So it's not just going to be money for the kidnapped girls. No. It's going to be to help lots of other girls get education. Exactly. Right. And um, where will this event... You mentioned that, but just remind us of where it's going to be held. It's again. happening on Sunday the 30th of November at the Hideaway in Streatham in London, UK. So what's actually going to be happening at that event? Is there going to be music? I mean, what's, what's going to be um, on the bill, if you like? Brilliant. On the bill, we're going to have... People will come and they will have a meal um, that they will be able to partake in. Then after the meal, there'll be a live, show, live showcase of artists, Lorraine Cato, Anastasia Baker and Sean Anthony, and a few more artists on the night. And then there'll be a closed bid of things we will be auctioning for people to, to raise, money for the, raise money for the organisation. And also, then the song will be released and performed live by the artists with a live band. And so, then we'll have a DJ on the night as well. Yeah. I mean, is it up to people like yourself, do you think, to, to draw this sort of attention? I mean, are you sort of asking lots of other people to join the, you know, the bandwagon, as it were, and not to forget these girls? Because, oh, I mean, if there are as many other events like yours, then it's going to keep the um, attention focused on them, isn't it? Yeah, it would. I wouldn't say join the bandwagon. I would say to anybody out there, if it grips your heart and touches your heart and you want to do something about it, come along and support the cause. And, and what is your feeling generally? I mean, perhaps this is a more sort of slightly wider question, but, I mean, you've been watching what's happening in Nigeria, mm -hmm. um, not just with the kidnapped girls, yeah. but with lots of other, you know, the, the insurgency taking place there. What, what are your thoughts on, on what's going on in Nigeria? My thoughts is that a lot of things are taking place, um, maybe because um, the government are not as strong, um, people are just doing their own thing at the moment. So my thoughts are and hope that the government sort of get that strength behind them and take control of their country and do what's right for the people of Nigeria. Yeah, well, obviously, that's, um, that, that's a very good, if you like, prayer for the country. But, I mean, the, the, the practical fact, of course, is that insurgencies are not easy to take control mm. of. And a whole swathe of Nigeria is under attack from people who've you know, who just decide they want to completely change that, that system. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, young girls like the ones that you're supporting are falling victim to it. Mm -hmm. I would say that's really sad. It's, it's not something that would easily happen in the UK. But as I said, with the, the, the government, if they could get any help from any other countries as well to, to learn or to understand how to run the Nigerian country, it would help so that they would join forces and join arms together to say this is we'll come to help we'll help you um, get your country back in order and take the control back that you need okay well um, Judith Denton I, I have to say I'm very impressed with what you're doing you're not related to Nadia Denton are you no okay. <laughs> just needed to check because Nadia is another big figure who's who does a lot of um, movies and, and things like in the black she's organized black film festivals and all that sort of thing just just double checking okay but um, it's really good of you to come in thank you and we really appreciate what you're doing um, we support you um, and we hope that um, this will make a difference and hopefully there will be a you know significant attendance um, Which I think will help the cause and yes. certainly keep the the message um, on the front burner rather on the back burner Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you indeed for coming in. Thank you